There are the judges in those corners. That each of the judges from different parts of the world. Obviously, the importance of neutrality is paramount. We have Ahmed Lotfi for Egypt against Hussan Mavadali. Was a, a great ta takedown there from Mamadli, but wasn't able to finish off. Well, the ties on the side of the gear, the tide of the suit, have to be done up. He's being penalised for holding on, and that was because he he used two hands for that takedown. The only time you can use two hands is if you have caught a kick from your opponent. Excellent double attack there from Ahmed Lotfi. Threw in two punches. The second of which was successful. He was unopposed. So he's going to get the Senchu advantage to go with it. The doctors uh, perhaps having a tea break and not not ready to come on. That the idea is to get them attention as quick as possible. It's not um, a serious injury, but there's the punch over the top that may have caused the damage from Hussein Mamadli. So he may have twisted his back, in fact. Lotfi cleverly ducked out of danger there. He put his hand up, suggesting that referee should stop the match, but he wasn't going to do that. And that was the reason, because Hussein Hamadli has now got himself back in contention here with that, that score. I need this to be a successful, and there it is. It was a video review that secured the point. It has that Yuko. Lotfi still has the one point lead and the Senchu to go with it. It's coming up for the halfway stage. This time it is Lotvi who decides to take a step off the tatami, off the mat. That's a jogai. That gives him his first chewy warning, his first yellow card. That is, Ramadli needs another point. He needs to overcome the Senchu. Again, that clever tactic from Lotfi almost paid off. Went over the top with that punch again. 
once more there's a video review request from the coach but Lofi kind of sidestepped and then threw that punch in really fast over the top I'm hardly hoping that this is an unsuccessful call for a, a point still got one minute and three seconds to go mine so that's enough time now from that angle on that video review slow, super slow motion it showed that the punch seemed to have slipped past but it isn't in the eyes of the video review team it's a point for each of them there was a double attack a double attack there from Lotfi it was the second punch that scored and in Mamadli, there was a score too. So it's three points to two. Leading is Ahmed Lotfi of Egypt in red. Pressure building there in this last 55 seconds from Azerbaijan's Mamadli. Referee calls Wakarete to Sukhateg. Separate, but gets them back into the action again. Oh, very, very fast front hand from Ahmed Lotfi. He's going to get another point, unless, of course, it was deemed to be too strong. There is a video review request from the coach of Hussein Mamadli. That coach should know what he's doing. Is also, in the past, he's been a... World Karate Federation referee so he knows the rules particularly well does he know them well enough to call that point we'll have to wait and see just, just an opportunity to have a look at some of the Techniques thrown in that encounter. That's a counter punch, yellow cards. The referee just double checking, and there's a contact violation. And there's two chewies given for that contact violation. Now, I did notice that head dressing wasn't quite secured and it's been discarded by the looks of things into the last 28 seconds. And it is still Lotfi of Egypt leading Mamadli of Azerbaijan, three points to two. He needs at least one point, two to win, at least one point, and force an error to eradicate the sent you advantage and we have six seconds still on the clock the referee had called Yame when that kick went in and there's the Jogai and the sent you is lost so that one point difference now Mamadli needs one point to level a score two points to win it and he has six seconds in which to do so but back can Lotfi with that high punch. Puts his arm up, asking for a video review from the coach. Now there were there was indeed a fast punch from Lotfi. He is leading by that single Yuko. But he doesn't any longer have the Senchu. This has at least bought him a little time if it's unsuccessful. He still has one second on the clock. Mamadli going to come straight off the line. He has to. And there's a Jordan Zuki from Mamadli. But of course, there's no video review for him. And he loses the bout by that single Yuko score. And it is indeed Ahmed Lotfi of Egypt who takes the gold medal and the title. World Combat Games champion 
الطيوب الكرام السيدات والسادة يقام الآن حفل التقويج ووجه تحت 